When I first moved to South Texas, I was driving in between Mathis and Sinton, and topsoil was hitting my car as I drove down the road, and I wondered what was going on and why people were producing crops that the, the way that they were. And I learned that um, conventional tillage, for a lot of reasons, was um, something that was a preferred method of producing crops. Well, I thought that incorporating strip till with a legume cover crop in the wintertime might be a good solution to a lot of problems that producers are facing. And here in South Texas, it's primarily moisture availability because of drought situations and low rainfall in general, and also nitrogen prices that have increased as fuel prices have increased, and also phosphorus and potassium limitations. It's a limited resource, and we're competing with China and India more and more every day for those other two primary nutrients. So different legumes that are adapted to South Texas, including medics and clover, have potential to serve as a cover crop to hold on to soil and also improve nitrogen cycling and availability. Um, legumes do take a lot of phosphorus to grow, however, as they degrade in the soil, they're available for the row crop that follows its production. Um, in addition, as these cool season legumes grow, they can be harvested periodically for hay or they can even be grazed, which would re reduce the amount of moisture that's required to grow the legumes.